Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode two of my Terraria Let's Play. So, I'm I, I'm actually slept this time. I, I've had sleep. Last night I slept a good amount. And uh, I may sound a little different. I don't sound drunk like I did in my first one. You know, obviously I wasn't drunk or anything, but it was just the fact that I hadn't slept in 28 or 29 hours. So, that was interesting. But yeah, welcome to episode two. We're going to do a lot this episode. Um, obviously, this is the beginning of the game. Probably the most exciting. you got to get a lot of gear. got to get a lot of loot. And as you can see, I have made the GUI a lot bigger. So, I hope you guys can appreciate that. Um, if you'd like anything else changed, like me to zoom it in more or anything like that, just let me know. I can't make the GUI any bigger, though. But if you want the actual, like, player zoomed in, just let me know. If you're not on, like, a desktop watching this, it might be a little bit more difficult. I don't know. But I wanted to explore to the left. I have put up everything in my chest. I did not equip any equipment I have. So I have a shackle, which gives us one defense. And then guarding shoe spikes. So that gives plus two defense. Ooh. So what this does is you can, like, slide down walls. And I know it says that in the description. But I never really liked this thing. I don't, I don't think it does a whole lot. I know that you can build something with it, like a... Some sort of like ninja gear or something, I think. And uh, that can sometimes work pretty well. But yeah, we're going to go explore. Hopefully we can find something sweet like a big cave. Because I need some loot. Um, I really want to play like as a summoner slash mage. And uh, since we already have 120 mana, we're in a good spot. I'll tell you that. I'm not going to be a stickler about using certain things. I'm pretty much just going to use whatever I want. And wow, this tree is huge, dude. Hold on. I got to get this tree. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 64 wood from one tree. Oh, there's a chest right there. Ooh, this world is being very kind to me. Let's see. What do we get? Herb bags. 170 throwing knives. I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep the grenades. Shine potion is very use useful when we get underground. Um, I'm going to need to build something here so I can get across. So if you're kind of like me and you're not very good at Terraria, hopefully this Let's Play will be kind of fun to watch. Even if you're good at Terraria, maybe you just want to watch it because you like seeing how someone else plays it. Um, wait, is this the jungle or the desert? Is this the jungle or the desert? Because no, this isn't the jungle. So there's a bunch of biomes in this game and each world has to have all the biomes. I think we're in the desert. Okay, throwing knife. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, dude, those are sick. We have a hundred and... Okay, so we just use six to kill something. Um, now, hopefully I can find something interesting, like, because uh, when you die, right, it's not the end of the world. Uh, you do lose the money that you have, but you don't lose any items, so you're not going to, like, lose anything you find on your adventures, which makes it very fun to adventure in Terraria if you're playing on this difficulty. Otherwise, it's kind of stressful. <laughs> oh, I do need to make some torches, so I did have... Oh, yeah, 96 torches is quite enough. Now, I'm going to drink a shine potion whenever I start to get really deep. Because um, I do recognize that it will get kind of dark. So I'm going to try to, you know, make the viewing experience the best that I can make it. And I hope I hope that you've given me another shot and you're watching episode two. And you're like, man, this guy sounds completely different. I maybe shouldn't have recorded the first episode when I did. But I want it to be natural. I want to, you know, I really felt like I wanted to record it then. So I did. Uh, okay. So I haven't really been mining because copper. Ooh, what the heck? Why is that so high up in the world? Um, copper is kind of useless. It's not a great thing to really mine. Um, you want to get, I think, tungsten? I don't know. It's one of the two, man. I don't know. You don't want to get the first ore, though. Oy! Hey! Like that ore right there, that copper. Mm -mm. So let's drink one shine potion here. Okay. Okay! If I die from a blue slime... Dude, it would have taken two throwing knives the whole time. So this just looks like a bunch of copper. You know what? Maybe I should mine it. Um, so we're going to do a little Terraria time lapse. We're going to see how this looks. Um, I do a lot of time lapses in Minecraft, but I've never done one in Terraria, so let's find out together how it works. Okay, so I stopped the time lapse, started the normal play because I just got some tungsten ore. So tungsten is what we really want to collect. Maybe with the copper, we can make some lower level armor. Um, I'm not like a huge like stickler for anything. I, I wasn't planning on going mining, but there's a lot of ores here. So I feel bad if I just straight up walk by them and don't get them. So I'm going to get some of these. Uh, but again, like copper is just kind of one of those things where you start off with copper tools. Um, obviously, I want to make a better pickaxe pretty soon. And we'll probably get to that in this episode. But I really want to get a weapon um, because our best weapon is probably our copper pickaxe. 
Which isn't great, right? Like, you you, you want to have good weapons in Terraria, because there's quite a bit of dangerous stuff. So let's at least get this iron real quick, and then we'll call it good and go explore deeper in the cave. Okay, so that's about it. So, I know that this series just started, um, but I'm just talking about in the future. So when this series ends, when I feel like it's a good ending point, and uh, we're going to play it all the way through. I'm going to start another series with my cousin on Terraria, because he... Well, let's just say he's a master at Terraria, kind of an expert. He knows pretty much everything there is to know about the game. He knows where to find most things. And uh, he's just one of those people who is very knowledgeable about the games that he likes. And that's going to be a lot of fun for me to play with him. That's who usually who I play Terraria with. I've only played Terraria alone a few times, and I don't really feel like I'm playing it alone uh, on this Let's Play, right? Like, this is completely different than, you know, being completely alone because there's a lot of people going to watch me. And thank you for all the support on the newest video. I was surprised we got like 12,000 views. I didn't, I didn't expect that. Like, literally didn't expect that at all. So thank you guys very, very much for the support. It means the world to me that I started a second channel. Oh, this looks like the end of the cave. Okay, we're going to go find another cave then. Let me just get this iron. I'll meet you guys back up. Oh, and by the way, I figured I'd show you what these boots can do. You see how I kind of like slide? Okay, this, <laughs> this thing's getting really annoyed. You see how I was sliding right there instead of falling? And I can kind of like jump. So I can like go on the edge of this and it kind of jumps. They're kind of like, it's kind of like being a ninja in a way, right? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought it was all over. Luckily, I'm getting my Terraria sea legs back. Oh, it's night. That's okay. I don't mind exploring at night. It's really not that big of a deal. Okay, the shine is still going, so it's still going to be lit up enough for you guys to see, hopefully. Um, oh, wow, this is a tall, this is a tall, tall hill right here. That's kind of cool. So, there's even little islands in the sky and such. Okay, I got to use these or I'm going to die. These throwing knives are really good. I know that there's an infinite throwing knife you can get. I mean, there's probably like 500, 600 unique weapons you can get in all different classes. And that's what I really love about a game is uh, the loot. <laughs> I am a, I'm a real big lover of loot. So we have 10 recall potions, which take you back to your spawn point. A wooden boomerang. Um, those are okay. Some silver coins and some wood. Uh, hey, oi, hey, buddy, pal, friend, can you? Okay, this is not that, this boomerang is not as good as it thought. Well, no, it's not bad. You know, it's, a, it's definitely a beginner weapon. We gotta get something. We gotta get something else. What is that? Oh, that's part of the thing I just killed. Okay. Okay, so it's definitely a good sign that I can hear water. That means this cave probably goes somewhat deep. Eey! Okay. Don't want to fall, though. Oh, yeah, dude. Here we go. Please be a big cave. I really need a big cave. Um. Oh! Oh, <laughs> dude, I avoided that trap. Really cool. Uh, this looks like all water. So, it was a cave, and then it led just to a bunch of water. Is there anything? Oh, there's something over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is sand. Please tell me I can breathe. 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 Ooh, what am I doing? Okay. So, I just gotta walk. Can I breathe? Nope. Oh, nope. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Oi. Let me get out of here. You die so quick from drowning in this game, by the way. So, you don't want to drown. Okay. 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 <laughs> Oh, dude, the slimes, man. They got me. Okay, well, I'll meet you guys back over there in that big old tall hill. We'll keep going to the left. I don't want to go in that cave anymore. It makes me sad. Dude, look at all these fallen stars. Awesome. Well, I was trying to wait for it to become day, and then it starts raining. So I'm just going to go to that big old hill. And uh, you know what? So what if it's raining? We're still going to explore. It might be dark, but we can make this work. Ah, the cherry music is so pretty. Isn't that just beautiful? I love Terraria's music. If you've never played Terraria, just get it for the music, honestly. Okay, here we are at the big hill that we had found and commented about. So, now I'm going to continue traveling left on the map, and hopefully we can find something good. If we look at the map and we, like, zoom out, um, this is how big the world here. Maybe I need to, uh, how do I go full screen with the map? That's not it. <laughs> I don't know, but all I got to say is the map is very big. Uh, we obviously we cannot even see the whole map. I don't know how to look at the whole map, so I'm sorry, but we've explored maybe like a tenth of what this world has to offer. Like there is a lot to these worlds. And by the way, I picked up so many stars. A green torch. No, I don't want to make green torches. <laughs> oh wait, I can make an enchanted boomerang. 
13 damage. Yes, sir. Only takes one of our crystals, and we had 11, so we can still make two. And there we go, guys. 160 mana. So let's try out this new this new boomerang. Ooh, got good distance to it. You know what? It's not it's not bad. It's not great. It's it's not great. <laughs> but it's not bad. Did we get any? Oh, it's a damaged enchanted boomerang. So it does minus 15 percent damage. Which honestly, when it only does 14, you know, damage, that's not that big of a debuff. But oh, thank you. Um, it's still kind of disappointing. I need to use my health potions. So I have some health. I think it's H. So there we go. We're nice and healed up here. I'm trying to just run away from that. What is this right here? It's such a weird thing. Oh, hey, another house. Okay. So I think you can get a finch staff from these from these uh, big giant trees. So I'm gonna see if I can find one of those. Um, that's a summon, oh, a guarding climb. Wait, is that already what we have? Wait, climbing spikes, shoe spikes. Hold on, are those different? Hold on, are these different? Guarding shoe spikes and climbing spikes. Slide down walls with shoe spikes. Okay, so if I, okay, I need to heal. Oh, I can't heal. Hey, <laughs> please don't kill me. Ooh, I'm smart. Okay, so. These are, these are shoe spikes. These are like hand spikes, I guess. So these both are guarding, which is we get four extra defense from them. But it says ability to slide down walls and improved ability if combined with shoe spikes. So does this mean... Oh, yes, this means I can literally hang on walls. Watch this. Oh, yes, dude. I'm glad I actually found that. So if I like go on a wall, look. You can't really go up, but you can at least hang and kind of slide down. So that's actually super helpful. Um, while we're in here, we're going to craft a little bench, crafting bench, and we're going to make some wooden armor because we have so much, like, and it only has one defense, right? It's not great, um, but with the amount of wood we have, it only takes it 25, it's going to take, like, less than 100 wood for all this. It's not bad. So, wooden sword does, oh, wow, a sluggish one. Nope, we're going to make another. A small one. Nope, we're going to make another. A keen. We're going to make another. A godly. That's what we want. So our godly wooden sword does plus 14% damage plus 15% knockback. So that's, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to trash the old ones and then trash this thing because we don't, we don't need a godly copper sword. So let's try this thing out. Let's see how it is versus this uh, rain slime. Come here, buddy. Be my, be my test subject here. That's not great. <laughs> the plus 15% knockback is kind of nice. Is it a fish? I forgot there were flying fish that attacked you. Uh, but let's see if there's anything down here. Um, okay, so this is where the good stuff can be. Leaf one. Nope. Two more shine potions, though. I will drink one of those. And some silver coins. 91 rope. Okay. I might as well take the arrows. And the living wood woo loom. So the loom is how you can craft the walls that I was talking about. You know, the uh, living wood walls? That is how you craft them. So we're going to replace all the walls we have currently with those. More climbing claws. Okay, we don't need more. Take more healing potions. We'll take more recall builder potion. Sure, you know what? We'll take that. I don't want any of the other stuff. Let's see, does this lead into a big cave? Is this going to be another disappointment? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I cannot seem to find a cave, so I'm going to go further to the left because these trees... Mm, I don't think that they're going to be the best source of caves for us. Okay, the music is changing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the jungle. So the jungle is a hippity hoppin', skippity scoppin' place to be. It's, it is it is the place to be. It's where all the cool kids are. Um, it's also where you get wrecked. Um, you can get knocked out pretty easy here. So we're gonna have to proceed with caution, um, but we're gonna, ha we're gonna have a good luck here. This is gonna be it. There's jungle slimes, they're more deadly. Everything's more deadly here. So hopefully fairly soon we're gonna find a big old cave. This is this is basically where you find big caves. Um, if I don't find one, I'm gonna be super disappointed because every single jungle I've ever been to, that's where I get all my life crystals. That's where I get pretty much everything. So you can get life crystals. You can get like a lot more uh, than just 100 health. I think you can get 400 maybe. 
I don't remember. Uh, but you can get more than 100 health, just like you can with the mana crystals. I just need to, at first, find those crystals. They just kind of spawn underground, look like little hearts. So we're going to go try to find those. But yeah, I would not come to the jungle if you're not, like, somewhat aware of what can happen, because it's just hard. There's a lot of things like man-eaters that'll really get you. And man, we have not found a cave still. I thought all this time rambling I'd find a cave, but I guess not. But we'll keep looking, though. We're not going to give up. we still got a lot of jungle, I guess. Now, there are piranhas, too, in the water sometimes. And they can really be deadly, so... The 23 damage. Dang. And heal up here. So I'd like to get a band of regeneration. That's going to allow me to regenerate health. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, no, not like this. Not like this. Oh, my gosh. Please, no piranhas. Please, no piranhas. Okay, good. The slime has no idea where I went. Man, we really got to find something here. We're just going to die. I don't want to come all the way over here just to die. Don't, don't do it to me, bat. Okay. I'm going to hide until my health regenerates because I, I can't risk it. So if you guys can't tell, I am digging a hole straight down because I think it's safer than doing what I was doing. And man, I really just want to find a cave. And sometimes you can find caves like this. Also turned on the smart break, uh, which you press control on your keyboard to turn on. And I think it's on by default when you're on uh, a console or a phone. So you can play this on your phone or a console. Obviously, as mo with most games, is be best played on the PC. But even if you don't have like a really nice PC, you can usually run Terraria. So even if you just have like a school laptop, uh, no, don't take my word for it, but you probably can run Terraria at 60 frames a second. Um, okay, so I, when I find something, I'll come back. Obviously, I'm just digging a hole. You don't want to watch it. Here we go, guys. I see the grass, which means we have found a cave. Nice. Uh, please tell me this is, <laughs> this is an actual cave and not just a dead end. Okay, good. So I can tell it's kind of a cave because I can see a little bit more below me. Oh, there's a red slime too. So we gotta watch out. A lot of these mobs again are very powerful, and I'm not trying to die uh, from a slime. If I do die from a slime, it's a noble death because yeah, they are pretty powerful. Oh, there's a hornet's nest. No, no, no. Why did I hit it? Why did I hit it? I should not have hit that. I should not have hit that. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, there's a baby one. Okay, so we almost lost our life again because <laughs> I decided to whack the hornet's nest. It was not the smartest idea I've ever had. Please tell me there's more to this cave. Oh, baby, please. <laughs> Don't do me like this, dude. Don't. I need a better pickaxe, man. This thing's slow. <gasps> Is it a jungle chest? No, it's not. So there'll be dunk jungle chests, of course, and all, all sorts of stuff. Those are just pots, though. Okay, and there's another hornet's nest here. I just have to be careful. Don't touch it, Neo. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Please don't touch it. Okay, okay. I'm going to hide. I'm scared. I'm going to take this brief moment to say thank you for watching me. There's a lot of people who make videos on YouTube, and the fact that you're watching me, it, I'm just appreciative of it, so thank you. Um, if you're not subscribed to me and you've been watching this series, I really would appreciate a subscription. Again, I just started this channel, and as you guys know, YouTube is a lot different from when I started my old, the NeoCubist channel. And uh, it's definitely harder to grow big, and uh, I'd love for this to be a big channel, but if it just stays this size, that's okay. But if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you want to see more videos from me, I really would appreciate it. I try not to be too pushy or annoying about it. Um, so I'm just going to ask this once and then maybe at the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, either way, thank you for watching. And if you don't want to subscribe, don't do it. Just do what you think is going to bring you the most enjoyment, okay? You do you, um, but I figure I'd do myself a disservice if I didn't ask you to subscribe. So thank you. Okay, and it looks like this cave ends, which is really sad. I'm like, I'm like, I'm disappointed because usually these caves are huge, dude. Usually the jungle is where you find the banger caves. Oh, this looks like a dungeon. This is the dungeon background. Ooh. Okay, so there is a lizard dungeon thing. Like a Mark Zuckerberg type dungeon. Somewhere in here. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a knife, you guys. I'm sorry. I know it's kind of cheap to do that, but like, I don't want to die. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, rip. Okay, well, I'm gonna get all this copper that you see here. There's a little bit of copper here. Oh, a little bit of copper here, and then a little bit more um, in another spot. So I'm gonna get this copper real quick. Well, apparently there's a goblin scout up there, which I know it's hard for you guys to see, but there's a goblin scout. 
so I'm not gonna get that copper. <laughs> that is a quick way, a quick ticket to death. So we're just gonna we're just gonna leave that alone. In the jungle with a wooden sword. This is like the worst idea ever. I can't even kill a bat. So what was down here? Was it literally nothing? Hey, okay. There's three more. Wait, is there? Oh, there's something below this. Okay. No, we're good, guys. We're good. I'm surprised I haven't found, like, a big section of the jungle cave, though. Like I said, I know I've repeatedly said this, but usually jungle caves are huge. Okay, this looks promising over here. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Was this a mushroom? No? Hmm. Is there anything down here? Okay, there's a slime coming for me. Alright, well, I'll keep digging around and see if I find anything. Okay, well, I have these hunter potions, so I'm gonna try this, and... If I take this, it'll show me the location of all enemies. Oh, see? There we go. Oh, well, I didn't even need to take it, because you could have just I could have seen the cave if I just kept digging straight over, but that seems to work out okay. So at least we know where all the enemies are now. As to not be killed by them, potentially. Um let's see. How's this cave working over here? Okay. So I like the smart breaking, uh, but sometimes I like to take over manually and decide what I want to break. Because it doesn't always know exactly what I want to do. But it's pretty good about it. Especially for placing walls and such. It's it's clutch. Is it a chest? Please be a chest. I want a jungle chest so bad. I want any mana weapon, dude. I will take literally anything. I see some stuff below us as well. If this cave turns out to be a dud. Okay. Alright. We gotta do this carefully. I only have 69. <laughs> nice. I only have 69 left. So. Let me just use 9 right there. That's not good. Can I, can I not hang off this wall right here? Whoa, you can build stairs with these things. Okay, I completely forgot about that. Ah, okay, so we're right there. Is this really the end of the cave? <laughs> okay, there's stuff down. Oh, this is a big cave then. This is a big cave. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Hey, guys, what is up with you? Keep us here. Welcome to my big cave. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, no. Okay, I can't just fall into it. Hold on. I gotta be smart about this. Okay, first of all, I wanna... Put a torch there, and then, can I like, okay, and then, is this, is this it? This is the worst jungle ever, confirmed worst jungle, Ugh. okay, actual big cave confirmed, this looks huge, based on the amount of slime action I'm seeing, oi, based on the amount of slime action I'm seeing here, I think we're in a good position, you gotta be kidding me, please, please, I've insert, oi, I've been searching for a big cave for 16 years now. Can I please get one? So this shows the struggles of Terraria. Sometimes you can't find nice caves. But maybe we will eventually. Maybe this will turn into one. I see it appears to be a piranha on the left. And for some reason I can't jump here. here. Please, sir. Please, sir. Okay. So there's literally nothing here. I mean, there's a little cavern down there. Dude, what? Okay, well, I'll keep searching around. When I find something confirmed good, I said confirmed like three times, though. But when I actually find something good, I'll come back and show you, because I really want to get some chests, dude. Okay, let's give this cave a try. It feels like I've been searching forever. Is this the one? Is this the cave? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I gotta kill this bat, though. Please don't, buddy. Please don't, buddy. I'm so bad. Please don't kill me. If I get killed by... I've gotten killed by bats many times. It's a noble way to die. Um, sometimes you just literally can't avoid the bats, guys. They just... It's a very hardcore mob in the game. Just like slimes. Slimes can get you too. Okay. There's some iron here, so I'm going to go ahead and gather that real quick. Because I'm going to definitely need it. Alright, and that should be the last of it. And then let's go see what's over here. If this bat doesn't kill me, please don't. Please don't. Please don't kill me. Don't make me. Don't make me have a noble death. Okay, so there's a tree in here. That's it. There's a tree. That's that's wonderful. It's like a pot down there. Pretty. Oh, but I see. So oh yeah, dude. Here we go. Here we go. If you can see bees, you're onto something. Okay. Finally, dude, I have been searching for so long to find a good cave. Yeah, so it's gonna be directly over here. You can see the man-eater on the left side of the screen. Looks like that floating, like, insect mouth thingy. So, let me mine over to here real quick. 
Dude, I have 660 mud blocks already, dude. Oh my gosh. If that gives any indication as to how long I've searched to find this big cave. Okay, so my hunter potion just ran out. And before I go in anywhere, I'm going to take a regen potion, a swiftness potion, and then... Do I have a shine still? Yeah, and then I'm going to take maybe just a builder potion. I don't know. Did I already take swiftness? Yes, yeah, so we have swiftness, regeneration, builder. Okay. And that's just in case I need to place platforms at a distance. So this is really going to help us. These guys can shoot you, and they can really mess you up. So we're going to try our best to take them out quick. Please. I'm just throwing them and hoping it hits at this point. It's actually working. <gasps> oi, oi. Die. Die. Oh, please, one more hit. No, please, one more. Okay. See what I mean? That regen potion was definitely needed. Now, the Eater of Worlds, these guys are a little bit more tricky. Is this really th the whole cave here? You've got to be joking me, man. No, you're joking me, man. No way, dude. This is the whole cave? Ugh. Okay. So this guy's a little tricky. He's probably going to kill me unless I do this right. Let me get a little bit of a platform built here. So he has to be he has to be spawned on something, right? Like his base has to be somewhere in a bigger cave. So I'm just going to sit here. Oh, wow. He's almost already dead. And it looks like he's originating from kind of down here and then down over, maybe over here. Please just die. Okay. So now I'm going to dig over to where I think he is and we'll see if that's a big cave. Okay. So I found this little thing and it doesn't look like it's here, but it looks like right over here, maybe something. Cause there's another man eater right here. So let me take this guy out and then we'll keep going to the left. Okay. Killed them. Killed the man eater. Let's find out. Is this something worth exploring? Oh no. So it looks like this boomerang's really good. I probably should have been using this the whole time. So this looks like our best weapon so far. So this episode wasn't useless. We got wooden armor. We got enchanted boomerang. And I'm not going to end the episode until we find at least one jungle chest. So we're going to keep exploring. So my videos are typically like 30 minutes. Uh, but sometimes, you know, if I feel like I want to go longer, I'll just go longer. Uh, if you can't stand to watch a more than a 30 minute video, you can watch. Oh, you can watch it in sections too, of course. You can do whatever you want. But sometimes I like to make my videos just a wee bit longer. Maybe like an hour sometimes. Who knows? And where is this guy? See, I'm trying to figure out where all these man eaters are spawning from. Okay. Um, oh, there's two. So I'm going to keep going to the left here. This seems like a good idea. I just need to back up as they approach. Okay, and then they're both pulling back, so that means I can approach and kind of mine. And that way I can just kind of sit here and just do this. And there we go. So, as you can see, strategy seems to work okay. Now, is this water above me? No, okay. Oh, that looks like a, oh, a spiked jungle slime. Yes, dude. Okay, here we go. A big cave because this, I mean, I literally see... I can see that this is a big cave because of the uh, because of the way that it is. Just like the aspen tree. Just like the aspen tree. Please, I finally find a big cave. Do not kill me. Okay. Jeez, dude. I thought I lost it all. What a disappointment that would have been. Yeah, look. There's even enough room for like a tree in there. Hey. Uh, <laughs> so I can kind of jump up and whack him. This seems like a scuff strategy. I should not try this. Oh my gosh. They shot a double at me. If I can get them in this little hole here... Okay, I need to chill out. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a chill here. I'm gonna build myself in here and uh, oh, please poison don't kill me. Please poison don't kill me. No, poison's gonna kill me. I had one HP. <laughs> no way. Did you guys see that? Go back and watch that. Go back and watch that. I had one HP. I mean, you were probably watching, but I had one HP, dude, and I somehow survived. This is the let's play of the century. Okay, let me regen. Hold on. Okay, so I don't think we have another regen potion. We do have two stingers, which is good. There's a couple things we can build from stingers that we get in the jungle. Like, really good things. So hopefully we can get those. Now, I need to be careful because, again, these guys... These guys can really end your run. Even though I'm not in hardcore, but they still can mess up, mess up your run. So I don't want to have to run all the way back here. Okay, please come down. There we go. Now you've met your maker, dude. Yeah, there's two of them. There was two in one. What the heck? Oh, oh I have five HP. Okay. Okay, there we go. 60. I'm tired of hiding. This this is the time. Where are you? Oh my gosh, you're right here. I have to like look at my haunt bar and then I look up and I see the slime is right next to me. Oh yeah, dude. 
Let's go, baby. We found a good cave. Well, let's just see if there's anything in here worth getting. Um, okay. I have so much wood that I'm comfortable doing this. This is okay. This is fine. Okay. I just cannot, I cannot run into, oh, okay, I kind of need to make more. I just love the noise when you, what is this? Drax attacks. Craft a Drax attacks using hallowed bars. Yeah, I don't have that. I don't have hallowed bars. So there's a hard mode in this game and you get to hard mode by defeating the wall of flesh, which is something you find in hell, basically. You go deep enough into your area, you literally reach hell and you def you defeat the, the eater of worlds. No, that's not right. The eater of worlds is something else. You defeat the wall of flesh and that turns it to hard mode and hard mode is a lot of fun. So I'm excited to get there, but one step at a time, guys. One step at a time. Okay, what is shooting spikes at me? Oh, okay. Okay, so this can be used kind of as light. That's nice. Um, I'm going to get all these ores here because we need to make, like, some iron armor before we come back here. <laughs> this ain't working too well. And then I'll get that tungsten that's up here as well. So I'll see. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Now you cannot come out of there. Haha, <laughs> I've defeated the terrarias. Okay, so I got all those materials. Let's run back down because we're kind of high up in the world right now And I want to see okay, that's 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 the bad thing about the boomerang is if you don't hit your target It like goes really far away from you and has to come back And you can hope that it kind of like swings back around and whacks whatever you're trying to kill but most of the time that isn't the case Okay, so this looks big So luckily you can kind of get down places without dying like this and it also allows you to get a, a way back up, because that's pr probably equally as important. Because if something starts whacking you, and you got to get back up, well, you just want to <laughs> you want to be able to. So since we're in a large world, I think that's why it took so long to find a cave. Because they're just so much bigger, and they go so much deeper as well. I probably should have played a medium world. That's In fact, that's what I usually do. What I usually do is a medium world. See, so you get that 10 second uh, poison. I'm getting hit by those guys, and that can really kill you. And look, there's a uh, statue down there, so we'll get that. Those don't really do much. If you get, like, a slime statue, you can spawn slimes, which is cool for, like, an infinite gel farm. Um, but you're not going to get one of those from that. Okay. We have got to we've gotta, we've gotta do something about these. We're, we're definitely going to die right now. Oh, my gosh. I think we might die. No, we don't have poison from them. Okay, maybe it's something else that gives you poison. I don't know. Can I hit them at all from in here? I guess they'd be kind of cheating. Okay, l let me regen real quick. It's actually not going to be very quick at all. What? Can I craft a campfire? A jungle campfire. Let's just do a normal one. So that will make give us the buff. Cozy fires the life gen is slightly increased. So you can see it goes up a little bit quicker. Okay, so I'm regen. I decided I'm not even going to touch those guys. We're just going to make our own little path down here. First of all, let's check out what's in this direction. Anything good? Okay, some vines that could totally kill me if I'm not careful. Nothing else, though. We will, of course, collect that statue. Always a good idea. Plus, okay, that's a big hornet. Whoa, okay. Don't poison me. Don't poison me. What is that? Is, it, is that a normal hornet? There's green on it. Okay, I'm going to get poisoned for sure eventually here if I don't, if I don't quit goofing around. Oh, look at that, dude. That was actually some sick shooting of my boomerang there. Nice. Okay, so the boot statue. I wonder what that does. I really don't know. I gotta break all these vines. Those things will hurt you. Anything over here? I should probably just keep going down. Okay, another hornet's nest. Just don't touch it. Just don't touch it. Yo, don't touch it. What is this? Is this platinum ore? I know that maybe I can't. Can I still mine this with a copper pickaxe? I actually don't know. I don't think that's a thing with the overworld ores. I think I can get it. Yeah, platinum ore. Let's go, baby. So this is a really good ore. It takes five ore, I think, per ingot. And you need, like, usually, like, five ingots to make a good pickaxe. I think five ingots. I don't know. We'll find out later. Uh, we're going to craft stuff once we go back home. Which we can go back home at any point with these 14 recall potions. Eventually, you get something called a magic mirror that you can put in your inventory that always takes you back to your spawn point. And I need to reset my spawn point by building a bed, too. So I need to make sure and get more webs. But let me get this platinum real quick. All right, I got the platinum. It was up there. Now I'm just kind of down here. Again, I'm trying to get as many cobwebs as I can, just because that's what I need uh, in order to make 
do you make stairs? I honestly don't know. I think you have to put them in a specific way and then hammer them, maybe? Do I have another shine potion? I do. There we go. So, I can buy something called a mining hat eventually where I can find one, and that allows you to basically have a little glowing light above your head at all points. Is this a... is this a dungeon down here? No? Okay. Not a dungeon. You, you guys know what I mean, though. For the Terraria veterans out there. Oh, one of those little houses. I always call them dungeons because they have a chest. Oh, that's a big platinum vein. Let's go, dude. Heck yeah. Let's get it. Okay, so we now have in total... We've got a lot of ores here. So we got 61 platinum, 69 iron, 65 tungsten, and 79 copper. So that's pretty good. And like, again, if I die, you don't lose stuff. So if we were to somehow die, like from a hornet or something, it would not be the end of the world. I just, I really, I don't want to die now that I'm this deep in here, but it, sometimes it just gets really hard. Okay, like right now. <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna regen. Man, I'm playing this so careful, and it's kind of fun, you know? I'm finally not just gonna... I'm not just gonna die. I usually die in the jungle, but I feel like since I'm recording, I'm like, need to play better. <laughs> I guess. My, my quality of playing is... Got, okay, see the bottom right corner of that glow? That is good. I think. Okay, we're just gonna like... You're not gonna... Maybe this is a waste of wood, but you're, you're just not gonna get to me, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get this copper and I'm gonna skirt on out of here okay there we go so I'm like 99% sure I have spent like hours looking for those little glowing things and I cannot for the life of me remember what they do but I know that they have a good use I just I really legitimately have no idea what that use is okay okay we're just gonna go deep what is this what is this please don't kill me oh wait this this can have something really good 10% increased movement speed. Let's go. Gravitation potion. Those are awesome. That flips the gravity. Um, glow. Ooh, I will definitely take some glow sticks and some more throwing knives. Sweet. Okay. So, yeah, this is called a living tree or something. It's like basically an underground tree. It's pretty clutch to find one. I'm definitely going to take this chest. An ivy. It's an ivy tree. That's right. Oh, man. We got really lucky by finding that. That's not even what I was looking for, though. Okay, we're getting deep in the jungle now. I forgot that the deeper you go, the harder it gets. And uh, to be honest with you, we're getting to the hard parts now. Because I hear those... You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Maybe that's just a frog? No, that's a crawdad. That ain't a frog, man. That ain't a frog. Let's at least get this tungsten here. We're going to be able to make some banger stuff once we get back to the base. And we'll do that in this episode. I'm not going to, like, just completely, I don't know, get all this stuff and then not do the satisfying part, like building cool stuff with it. I do need to take a screenshot. I always forget about that. I just, you, you know, you just never know where to take a screenshot, man. Where do you, where am I supposed to take a screenshot here? And quit going, give it to me. Sounds so weird. Can I not put a torch? Oh, I can't put a torch up there because of this. Okay. All right. Well, give me a second. All right. Let's get out of here and uh, let's go explore a little bit more. I have a feeling we're going to die fairly soon just because of all this stuff here. Um, okay. That's not my boomerang. There's two man eaters, a bunch of slimes, a hornet. I just don't know. I don't know how we survive this. If we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. I am honestly okay with it. We haven't really gotten anything great. We're just going to YOLO it. Wow. There was no point in YOLOing it. No point in YOLOing it. I should not have YOLOed it. Rip. I didn't really want to die because there's platinum right there. Like, I wanted to continue that. But I figured if I fall, I can get far enough away from the man-eaters. They won't kill me. But that's not how that went. So let's go back home. Oh, man, it's so dark. Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the house tree. Home tree. So I've somehow uh, started a fight with a bunch of demon eyes here. Like, a lot of demon eyes. Like, okay. Are you really going to Are you really gonna go in my house? Am I going to die? Am I going to really die from this? <laughs> You are in my home, good sir. You need to leave. You need to leave immediately. I almost died. Getting back to my base. So let's see what we can craft. First of all, we need to get all of these made into ingots. So we can do that pretty easily. 
There we go, 32 copper bars. Oh, there we go, 23 iron bars. How many platinum? So it's four ore per, not, not what I thought. And then tungsten, 19. So we can probably make a hodgepodge of armor, I assume, here. I think I need an anvil. Yeah, because I can't, like, craft anything. I think that's what I need to make stuff as an anvil. Or wait, no, I'm not near the... I wasn't near the crafting table, sorry. I probably need... Use to craft iron for metal bars, okay. So we do need an anvil for sure. We're going to put that here. Oh, look at that iron pickaxe. Oh, look at all this stuff. So how much... How many ingots is an iron pickaxe, for example? You need 10 ingots so how much can we make a platinum one um i oh yeah i can i forgot i can do this now there we go guys a platinum pickaxe now wouldn't that be cool a platinum axe a platinum hammer platinum broadsword short sword bow this is all the stuff we can currently craft with what's in our inventory so if there's anything an armor statue heavy workman she used for advanced crafting a glass kiln can I not make a loom? Wait, I have a loom, don't I? A living loom, here we go. So the loom I think I can use to make myself a... Um, I think I can use this for making a bed? Like a living wood bed? Living wood bathtub. Everything but the bed, okay. So I'll figure out in between this episode and next how to make a bed. Um, but let's definitely craft something with with all this stuff we have. Um, so I definitely want, gosh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. I think a platinum pickaxe is gonna do us like the most. So we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a platinum pickaxe and it's okay, it doesn't have any like bad things. Um, how much does, how much like stuff does it take to make? Like for example, a tungsten helmet. That takes 15 tungsten bars. It gives you four defense though. So we're definitely gonna craft that. What did we get? Anything on it? No, just a tungsten helmet. Uh, can we make any other armor? No. We can make. How much does this take? Twenty bars for a copper. We'll make copper chainmail, and then we can make some copper uh, boots or greaves, which are the. Oh, they're only one defense. That's not even better. <laughs> it's not even better than wood. What is the point of that? Huh. Okay, well anyways, thank you guys for watching today's episode. I'm sorry we didn't find anything really cool. Hopefully we'll find something cool in tomorrow, not tomorrow's episode, but the next episode, episode three. Again, if you're not subscribed and you've been watching this uh, series, you know, I, I would appreciate a subscription. You don't have to, of course, but I really would appreciate it. I'd love to see you around on the channel in the future. Uh, how do you craft a bathtub, a lantern? Maybe I want a lantern. How, do, how, how does that work? Okay, and then, nice, so we can remove the torch spam, and we can use these little lanterns. Now that'll be nice. I could also change the wood, the wooden walls to something else. So how do these look like in here? I want one like right here, one right here. Oh, dude, looking good. Looking good. Maybe hang one right there. Um... I think that's good for uh, good for lighting in here at least. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And uh, yeah, until then, I will see ya. Our guy looks funky now with all this weird armor, but it's okay. All right, see you guys soon. Bye. Oh wait, wild anklet of the wind, 10% movement speed. I forgot to put that on, so we probably probably should put that on. So we're a little bit faster now, if you can't tell. 10% faster, so it's not that much quicker, but every little bit definitely helps. So I'm going to deposit everything I have in here and then I'm going to put down that fancy chest that we have, the ivy chest, and then eventually I will sort stuff. I promise I'm not going to do it all whack. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.